But genetics and runaway appetite aren't the only causes of obesity. Sometimes your own body can turn against you in ways you never thought possible. But obesity can occur regardless of how much we eat or work out. Endocrinologist Dr. Theodore Friedman has seen this many times before. You could have somebody that's been going along at a weight of 130 pounds all their life and they exercise and they diet sort of normally, and all of a sudden their weight shoots up without having any changes in their diet or exercises. That's exactly what happened to Kate Myers. Kate is a 39-year-old attorney from Millville, New Jersey, who has struggled with obesity since its sudden onset at age 23. For over 15 years, Kate has searched for answers. Today, Kate has come to see Dr. Friedman. He believes her sudden weight gain may be the result of a naturally occurring steroid hormone called cortisol, which can cause a condition known as Cushing syndrome. Normally, the body produces cortisol to regulate blood pressure and to give us the tools to handle stress by creating a quick fight or flight response in case of danger. This vital hormone is produced naturally in times of high tension. The brain sends a kind of stress alert to the pituitary gland. This causes the gland to secrete a hormone that stimulates the adrenal glands which are located on top of the kidneys. The adrenals then release cortisol into the bloodstream, launching the fight or flight response. If something interrupts this delicate system, cortisol can be overproduced, causing a bizarre reshaping of the body. The excess cortisol spurs the body to shift energy in the form of fat to the center of the body and head, and away from the limbs, since these are the most vital areas to protect. When I was in college, I used to be an avid runner. I ran five miles a day several times a week and led a pretty active lifestyle. I weighed 140 pounds and I was a size eight and I was cute. <laughs> Over 16 years, Kate swelled to 340 pounds, overtaxing her heart, lungs, and skeleton. She consulted a series of doctors who misdiagnosed her with simple overeating. Her search for answers eventually led her to Dr. Friedman, who immediately suspected she might have the rare hormonal condition, Cushing syndrome. By flooding the body with the stress hormone cortisol, Cushing syndrome causes not only a bulging torso, but it also gives the face a rounded, moon-like appearance, and fat fills in around the cheeks and neck. Fat also appears in a large lump at the top of the spine. This is referred to as a buffalo hump. I carefully asked her about her history uh, in terms of diet and exercise, and it turned out that her diet is very balanced. She eats about 1,300 calories a day. She's been to a dietitian. She's very knowledgeable. So I thought with that unexplained rapid weight gain without any change in, in her diet and her exercise, maybe suspicious of Cushing syndrome. As you get increasing cortisol, most but what causes the body to create so much cortisol? By far, the most common natural cause of Cushing syndrome is the appearance of small benign tumors on the pituitary gland. These pituitary tumors can trigger runaway cortisol production. Just means a lot of more testing, more right? Testing, yes. Okay. The pituitary is a pea-sized gland that lies just behind the nasal cavity below the brain's frontal lobe. It does many jobs in the body, including controlling the actions of other glands by releasing a variety of different hormones. Tumors as tiny as a pencil point growing in the pituitary can secrete increased amount of hormone ACTH, which kicks cortisol production into high gear and launches the fight or flight reaction. It stresses your body quite considerably. Doctors took a full set of MRIs of Kate's brain. The area of concern is right over in here. Trying to locate any tumors on her pituitary that could be causing the problem. It's suggestive of a tumor there, we think it is, but it's, we're not 100% sure. Kate endured three more months of rigorous testing to prove the two tiny tumors Dr. Friedman had found were the cause of her condition. Kate had surgery that successfully removed the tumors, 
and finally ended her 16-year-long battle with Cushing's. But even surgery is no guarantee of a cure for her. I try to be honest with the patients and say that we expect the best. We expect them to sort of return to normal within a year. And I would say in about two-thirds of my patients that happens. Finally, after so many years, I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to get my life back, particularly my health. It's a feeling shared by Francis Serrano on the night before his gastric bypass. Tomorrow is a whole new day and a whole new me. After three days on a liquid diet, his body, used to feeding his every craving, is struggling with hunger. Tired, um, exhausted, hungry, uh, dizzy, and was pounding headache. Honestly, I just want to get this over with already. I'm ready to start my new life. I'm ready. With his surgery, Francis knows the risks, and the stakes are sky high. 